everyone and welcome to another webinar by Royal Cyber. My name is Amar Nadeem and I'm a Senior Business Development Executive at Royal Cyber and I'll be your host for today. Before we start, if anyone is not able to view my screen or hear me properly, kindly notify me in the chat window located on the right side of the pane. Now for a start, I want to talk about how IBM Sterling Order Management System provides a centralized inventory uh, and order promising and fulfillment hub to support omni-channel capability. IBM Sterling Order Management enables you to make better decisions about how to promise and fulfill customer orders, resulting in improved profitability and customer satisfaction. Uh, the agenda for today uh, as to our PowerPoints, uh, we're going to start about the introduction of Royal Cyber, uh, later moving on to the business scenario, uh, moving on to the capability of OMS with the SMS integration, and last but not the least, a demo. Moving forward, uh, let's take a look at our technology stack. Uh, we have services solution that we provide for web serial commerce, CBQ, order management, Sterling Integrator, and Message Broker, uh, Analytics, and IBM Tea Leaf. Uh, these are some of our quick start packages, uh, such as Fusion, um, quick start implementation with web serial commerce, uh, and it may include OMS, CRM, uh, email management, configuration, Salesforce, and mobile. Uh, on the right, we have some of our leading clientels, um, plethora of companies such as uh, 360 Training, Kmart, Office Brands, and such. Uh, moving forward, uh, let's take a look at Royal Cyber and how we work with I IBM. Uh, why Royal Cyber, a lot of people ask. Royal Cyber is an IBM premier business partner and has been working exclusively across the IBM technology stack since 2002. Royal Cyber has taken web serial commerce very seriously and strictly adheres to IBM best practices and policies, thereby successfully providing the best enterprise solution and service to our customers. We understand IBM technology and integration, including the applications, middleware, integrations, APIs, etc. Moving forward, a little about us, uh, <clears throat> some history. Uh, we have uh, been nominated for the IBM Beacon Award for 2013 finalists. Uh, Royal Cyber made its way to IBM's Beacon Award 2013 finalists by providing unmatched and quality smart commerce solutions to small and large enterprise all across the globe and making the e-business simpler than before. We also won the IBM Impact Mobile Innovation Award in 2003. We've also won the Best Smart Commerce Cell Award, and we have won the Innovation in Enterprise Modernization Development Award in 2014. Without further more to say, we have a great um, history of our tenure, and 2013 and 14 has been a great year. Uh, let's take um, a look at our global presences. We have multiple offices with 650 employees altogether. We have 300 IBM practitioners and 80 certified IBM users. Also 12 managed services. We have offices in the UK, Canada, Mexico, USA, South Africa, Australia, Saudi Arabia, and India. Now as always, we have a great speaker with us and before we get into the um, OMS, uh, let me introduce you to the speaker for today, uh, Mr. Abhishek Zakaria. Mr. Zakaria is a solution architect at Royal Cyber and has 11 years of experience in all phases such as planning, design, development, and delivery of Sterling implementation. He has professional expertise in Sterling Commerce, OMS, Order Management System, CPQ, which is known as Configure Price and Code. And without any further ado, let me hand it over to Mr. Zakaria. Thanks, Amar. Uh, hello, everyone. First of all, let me thank each one of you for joining this uh, webinar, uh, besides your uh, busy schedule. So before we get started, I have a uh, quick word about this webcast. We are live and interactive today. We welcome your questions and feedback and urge you to take part as much as possible. We'll do our best to answer your question during the Q&A session of this webinar. So let's start this presentation. So first we'll discuss about some of the customer pain points. So scenario one. 
So one of the US based furniture retailer has some pain points of facing some issue in their operation. So that is like uh, one of the very common scenario. Okay, system send alert for asking the uh, confirmation of the delivery time and delivery point. But more than 50% of the time, they have to wait than the expected time of the response. Okay, almost half of the time, they, they are like waiting uh, for the customer response. So here, the pain point is waiting time. And we all agree that this, this will lead to the re revenue lost. Now the second scenario. So a, a, in UK, uh, a retailer introduced some of the new product in some of their stores in countryside. So they send an email invite, uh, but section of the huge section of the customer, they don't carry smartphone. Okay, so they can't access this email. So the sending the email is not fulfilled, uh, like the, the purpose of sending the email is not fulfilling, right? So now, moving ahead, scenario three. So and, and business houses, and business houses use traditional way of advertising. So basically they use print media, electronic media, leaflet to reach their customer. But when they did one survey, they find out that they are they were not able to uh, reach their targeted customer, the proper customer. Okay, and uh, there are many reasons, many, many reasons why they are not able to reach their customer. It's like, uh, so they, they want some cost effective way to advertise their discounts, promotion, and like the current in-store deals. So moreover, nowadays we should not encourage this uh, to uh, encourage to print print right so it will behaving like it's it's like it, it will behaving like catalyst to this uh, environment destroyed so uh, as a part of we should not we should reduce this paper consumption as much as possible so this is like our responsibility towards our society also okay so these are very very few scenarios so apart from this we have a huge list so now we are going to discuss about what is the solution to all these pain points. So all right. So now it's like, uh, what is SMS? So SMS is like the acronym for short message services. So commonly referred to as text message. So it means to transmitting a written message up to around 160 character to and from a mobile phone. So as per Wiki, so in 2010, uh, 6.1 trillion, that means 6.1 into 10 to the power 12 SMS text messages were sent. So this translates into an average is like 193,000 SMS per second. So can you believe it? 193,000 SMS per second. So globally. Okay, so that is the uh, statistics in 2010. So the importance of this text message is significantly used in this today's world. So some of the current business scenarios where this SMS playing a vital role. So it's like informing the flight details that if the flight is delayed or canceled, then the aviation industry, they are using this SMS to, to update, their, uh, update their customers, okay. Then hotel and retailers use SMS to send mobile coupons vouchers and sales promotion. Then auto dealers, they are sending SMS to remind their customer to service their vehicle. So basically, uh, SMS is playing uh, here a role of a gentle reminder. Okay, so in uh, fourth point, it's like e-commerce site. So e-commerce site started SMS alerts to remind, to remind shoppers who abandoned their cards. So this is like abandonment of card is one of the a very serious issue in e-commerce uh, industry. So basically, the customer has spent time in browsing their sites, okay, in browsing the enterprises, uh, cards and all. So they they, are, they carefully selected the item, okay. But for one reason or another, he or she like uh, abandoned this ship at 
a critical point right so this report says that on an average is like more than 68% abandonment happened so 68% so this is a huge okay so now this business point of view we need to like convert this abandonment right we need to win this abandonment so in statistics say that uh, when we send the sms uh, like within 20 minutes so achieve an average of 5.2 conversion rate so suppose some abandonment happened and within 20 minutes we send this sms then this there is a conversion rate of 5.2 happen okay so if we send an sms like within an hour okay within an hour then there will be a conversion rate of 4.5 percent so like the conversion rate is reducing and if we send an sms like within 24 hours within that day then the conversion rate is like 2.6 percent okay so it's like when we send the sms that is also vital that is also a vital point from business point of view sending sms is important but when you send the sms that is also playing a vital role in this industry e-commerce industry moving ahead so it's like allow customer to use text message to place on orders so it's like uh, if we consider the pizza delivery then some uh, food retailer they are like uh, you can place order by uh, placing an sms by sending an sms so it's like uh, you get some sms like you are ready to we are ready to place your most recent order so reply yes to confirm so when you place yes when you uh, put yes and send back to the customer uh, send back to the, the retailer they will place the order on behalf of you so it's like as uh, nowadays you can place order via sms also then sms campaign for new product launch so some retailer they are like doing the sms campaign so it is one of the most important like uh, advertisement uh, way of advertisement this sms then appointment reminders so this would be like mainly in hospital industry then transportation industry then entertainment industry etc etc this this appointment reminders uh, sms will play a vital role then in short survey also we, we, we can do some short survey via this sms we can get the feedback from the customers excellent good average or poor uh, so we can get the feedback from the customer via this sms and we can do some short survey so moving ahead so now as a part of this webinar what we did is like we integrate this uh, uh, sterling order management system with this uh, sms feature so we are going to show a demo on sterling oms integrating with this sms feature so now what is sterling order management system so as amar said that the sterling order management system provide a centralized inventory order promising and fulfillment hub okay to support omni channel capability so this is like uh, this is like the punchline the tagline of sterling order management system is order from anywhere fulfill from anywhere and you can return from anywhere so it is like omni omni channel presence okay then ibm sterling order management system enables you to make better decision about how to promise so basically it's like how to fulfill your orders fulfill the customer orders how to promise and fulfill the customer orders so you can take better decision by using this sterling order management system resulting in improved profit profitability and customer satisfaction so basically it will uh, increase your revenue it increase your improve your profit profit and then the customer satisfaction and above all it's like peace of mind so now it's like in today's world what is customer expectation like in today's world it's like customer are more interconnected right so it's like they are very very interconnected and they are intelligent than ever before so now customer are interconnected via facebook via twitter via email whatsapp blog forum rate or review websites so it's like there uh, there are 
n numbers of ways the customers are interconnected. Okay. So it's like the statistics say that the 92% of customers form an opinion about the brand through their first introduction. So the so first interaction, they form a uh, form a it's like a form a view. Okay, 92% customer form a view uh, on first interaction. And about uh, the seventy-three percent consumer will leave that brand after a bad experience. So it's like statistics say say that it's a report uh, published. Uh, it's a it's a survey done on more than two hundred brands, and it's a report published. It's like seventy-three percent consumer will leave the brand after one bad experience. And out of that 73%, 85% will tell others about the poor experience. So it's like they are conveyed this thing to others also, 85%. So now it is, so business houses can't take any risk in dealing with customer, right? So customers should be informed, should be like updated in each and every milestone in order life or in their order life cycle. So the once the order has been placed, the next obvious thing is to confirm the order, uh, to confirm that the order has been dispatched, right? And in every step, you have to inform your customer every status of your orders, every status of your inventory. You have to inform your, you have to update your customer. So that is like the customer expectation nowadays. So if you want to survive in this today's e-commerce or retail or any, any any industry then you have to update your customers within each and every status and each and every milestone so now moving ahead so how so now we all agree that the inform your customer about the status of their order and inventory is very very important it's it's very very important Okay, so if order gets placed, then SMS, no, uh, it's like you have to inform your customer that uh, to tell that the order successfully placed with the order ID. Okay, then if the order is shipped, if the order is, I'm just giving you two examples. If the order is shipped, okay, dispatched, then you have to inform your customer uh, like your order is uh, dispatched and so and so with it, you are going to get this uh, item. Okay, so you have to inform your customer well and before. Okay, so now how how we can inform our customers? How we can, retail industry can inform our customer? As we are, uh, as I'm, uh, we are discussing our Sterling order management system. So how we are Sterling order management system or any order management system inform their customers? So there are four ways, okay. Traditionally four ways, okay. So we can use email, we can use call center, we can use fax, and we can use SMS, right? So out of this four, so call center is like comparatively costly, okay. So compared this four, uh, like other three, Call center is comparatively costly, so you have to set up, you have to bear the call center cost and all, right? Now, uh, next part is facts. So facts, you cannot expect that the, all your customer have the access to the facts, okay? So it's like if you are dealing with B2B uh, customer, then you can expect that the facts might be there or they have facts. But if you are, when you are dealing with B2C customer, when you are dealing with consumer, then you cannot, like, uh, you cannot uh, expect that the, everybody has the access to the facts. Okay. So the left, so the solution left is like email and SMS, right? So compared to email, so now the war is between the email and the SMS, right? So now compared to email, uh, there are like SMS, uh, uh, compared to SMS, the email has some uh, uh, disadvantage or what you can say is like SMS has some added advantage, okay. So now the challenges in email, okay. So email sometimes received as a spam or junk mail, right. 
then you can you can't expect all your customer have smartphone so let's say you are dealing with uh, uh, you are dealing with um, uh, some uh, electronics good okay you are dealing with you are a furniture retailer so you cannot expect that the all your customer carry a smartphone so if you send uh, this updated milestone or updated status via email then uh, they they might not carry the smartphone so they can't access that e uh, that email or can't uh, that, that it's like they cannot access that email which you sent to update the customer right then this email alert are sometimes ineffective so due to the low open rate and high read time so basically the report say that the 70% of the email are not read within 30 minutes so if you send your customer okay it is not like that that they will direct they will go and directly open the uh, the email and read it right so the report said is more than 70% email are not read within 30 minutes of the delivery to your email box to your inbox so these are the challenges in email now what are the benefit of sms so sms are always displayed at the delivery Uh, at the delivered time, okay, no spam. So basically, it will not. There, there, there is no concept of going to spam or going to junk mail. So it will directly go to your, uh, uh, go to your. It will deliver to your phone. Okay. So SMS is simple, inexpensive, and highly effective communication tool. Okay. So it's like the global average price of an SMS is like point one one US dollar. So it's very Uh, compared to the other solution it's ex uh, is uh, not expensive okay and then normal phone has also sms service so it doesn't matter whether you carry smartphone or a normal phone okay sms feature is available to each and every phone then due to the sms notification customer get trust on your business and consequently sales level get improved okay so basically uh, it's like it's uh, promoting your business when you do this sms and smsing we when you send to the customer all this uh, frequent uh, uh, the updating the customers about your promotion dealer promo deals that uh, uh, your stocks the new launch then it will like build a image okay it will building a brand okay so that is like uh, sales level will get improved consequently right then customer know what is in your store so uh, you can advertise your uh, like uh, store uh, inventory level and all then 90% of the time an sms is read within 3 minutes of receiving the message okay whereas what we study in that the 70% of the time the emails are not read within 30 minutes of the delivery it is delivered in the inbox whereas sms 90% of the time sms are read within 3 minutes of the receiving the message so that is like one of the great advantage of sms compared to email so now as a part of this uh, webinar we uh, prepare demo so what we did is like we customized turning order management system such that on successful order creation so it will send uh, sms to the respective uh, uh, customer mobile phone okay so basically uh, not only the uh, on create order we uh, prepare uh, when the or when your order is scheduled your sms will send when your order is released at that point also your uh, the sms is sent to your customer and when your order is shipped that means your dispatch okay then your uh, sms will sent to your the respective customer so let's go to the demo so this is the uh, application console of starting order management system so let me uh, let me create an order so this is the order create xml okay so i have put my mobile phone here mobile number so if i call create order using this 
XML. So let me quickly call create order. Okay, so basically this order is created with this order number. Okay, so now SMS, when you, when we see this log, So basically, when you see this log, you can see that the SMS, the create order, your order place successfully, order number is RCS SMS 7003. So this is the order number which you place in that, uh, with this order, cap uh, order capture XML. So SMS is sending. So it's like the response code is 200. So that means, uh, uh, the SMS is sending to your customer phone. Then let me let me process this order. So I just created this order. So let me just check in the OMS. Okay, see this is the order created. So just to process this order, we have to resolve the holes. So this is the out of the box flow. Then we have to authorize the payment. Okay, so now your order is like, uh, payment is payment status is authorized and order is in created status. So now when you when we uh, schedule this order, so now this order is in schedule status. Okay. So when we go back to this log file and search this thing, SMS on schedule order. So you can see here this SMS is sending to this mobile number with your order schedule successfully. Order number is RCS SMS 7003. That means the uh, SMS is delivered to your uh, customer mobile number and the response code is 200. That means successfully delivered. So now let me release this order. So now its order is in release status. Okay. So basically now this order is released to go. Okay. So now if you if you move, go back to your log file and search on release order. Okay. It's loading just one second Yeah, so here, if you see here, your order, your order released successfully. So basically you can, you can um, send as per your business requirement. For just demo purpose, I'm just sending a simple SMS, your order released successfully with the order number, uh, with this order number RC SMS 7003. And here, if you see the response code, it's like, 200 that means uh, it's SMS is delivered successfully okay so let me 
create the shipment for this order. So here, now it's like order is in release status. So we can create the shipment for this order. So when we click this create shipment, then now the shipment got created, okay, for this order. With this uh, shipment number is uh, 150021. So this is the shipment number, okay. So let me dispatch this shipment with the proper weight and volume. I'm just putting one uh, two demo uh, number. Weight is 10 pound and the volume is 10 cubic inch. So save it. Now order is in ship, uh, shipment is in shipment. The shipment got created. So now just confirm the shipment. So when we click the confirm shipment, it's like shipment ship. Okay. Now, whereas the shipment number is 15021. So let me again go back to the uh, log file and check whether this SMS sent on uh, shipment creation or not. So if you see here, if you see here, it's sending the shipment ship for your order successfully. Shipment number is 10021, 15021. So that means, and response code is 200. That means your uh, SMS, SMS delivered to your customer, I, a customer mobile phone. So now it's like, we have shown a uh, We have shown here. It's like uh, uh, how we customize Sterling order management system to send SMS to the respective customer at every milestone of this uh, order lifecycle. Like like from creating the order uh, to the schedule order. Then again, the shipment is uh, the SMS will send at the time of releasing the order. Then when we create the, the when we create the ship uh, man. Then also the SMS will send, and when we confirm the shipment, then also SMS will send. So that is like in every milestone you can send SMS as per your business requirement. So as per your business requirement, you can send SMS uh, like at every milestone. Okay. So uh, you can you can uh, customize your Sterling order management system like to sending SMS or to informing your uh, customer at exceptional scenarios also, also like back order like order is in back order okay or like payment fail because of uh, some reason payment got failed so you just send SMS to inform your uh, customer that uh, uh, your uh, payment fail because of uh, payment fail for this order so just do just do the like offline payment or uh, uh, like as part of business requirement. So we can customize Sterling store also for sending the SMS and we can customize Sterling call center also to enable this feature. So basically we can customize uh, Sterling SOM, COM, Sterling store, Sterling call center for commerce uh, for sending this SMS. Okay. And definitely as we discussed, it will help like uh, uh, to business houses to run their operation in a smooth manner. So as we discussed, so SMS will be a great uh, feature, great solution to uh, to some of the very very basic problem. So I already we discussed the added advantage of SMS, right? So it's like uh, uh, we uh, we can customize this Sterling order management system uh, like. At every milestone, now SMS can be sent. SMS can be delivered to your uh, customer address. So that's it from the uh, presentation point of view. Uh, thanks. Uh, back to Amar. Thank you, Abhishek, uh, for the lovely presentation. Uh, once again, this is our Q&A session. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, you guys can ask us right now. Uh, if you guys don't have any questions right now, you can um, send us at info at royalcyber.com. Once again, it's info at royalcyber.com. Thank you and have a great day.